What's going on everybody? Eat all the birds. I got my hands on a rusty Dutch oven and this one deserves a little bit of care. Just surface rust, no pitting. That's what you always look for. Now usually I go straight into vinegar with these and then give them a blast in the uh, fire. But this one has this problem. Somebody seasoned it, let it sit outside in the summertime for quite a while and all the seasoning or oil collected at the bottom. It's about a sixteenth of an inch thick. All right, I don't want to heat this up on the fire because it'll, it'll re-season that off oil into the iron. I don't want that. So it's going to get hot water first. All right, so I filled it up with boiling water about halfway. I'm going to let that sit in there for a while. I'm going to dump that out in a receptacle. I'm not going to put it down my drain. And then I'm probably going to do it again. And then I'll give it a little bit of a scrub and a final rinse. All right, that took about 30 minutes. I'm going to be dumping hot water in there, letting it sit, dumping it out, rubbing it out with blue towels. These blue shop towels probably used about 10 or 12 of those towels not rolls and you know the towel collects a bunch of the crap you throw the towel away and you just keep going and uh, I did scrape a little bit out with a plastic scraper and I got most of it vinegar so here we go get the cheapest stuff you can find I bought a gallon there should be plenty here we go you can dilute this. I'm going to try to go 100% if I can, if I have enough. But if you do dilute it, 80% vinegar, 20% water. Okay, lid goes in. Everything is submerged. Now 48 to 72 hours, depending on how it looks. This one's not too bad, so I think 48. Alright, so it's had a couple days in the vinegar. It's just been sitting here doing its thing. You can see it looks pretty much the same. A little bit of scum collecting on top of the barrel. All right, I see a lot of metal in the bottom of that pan instead of that goo though. That's what I'm looking for. All right, I'm gonna let this dry off. All right, I've got a nice deep bed of oak embers. Okay, this is gonna take care of the majority of the cleaning that the vinegar didn't get. I'm going to let this go. I'm going to let it sit there until everything is stone cold. Okay, still looks a little rusty. But we'll show you what happens next. We're almost done. But we are on to the most important part. The part I'm going to do the most carefully. Or with the most amount of care, rather. Look at that. All right, easy enough. Out of the fire, I just set it on the ground and went after it with some coarse steel wool for maybe five minutes. Got all the easy stuff off and then over to the sink. All right, then it goes in the sink with hot water and more steel wool, no detergent. I will never use detergent on this, not even in this restore process. So with the steel wool and the hot water, I just scrub it. This has been about 25 minutes of me scrubbing it with water, changing the water, rinsing the steel wool out, changing the steel wool, whatever it takes. And I keep going until when I scrub it for a while and I dump the water out, the water is pretty clear. It's never going to be clear because it's cast iron, but it's pretty clear. Now I'm going to say here that you're not going to get back to a shiny silver pot. What you are looking for though is a black pot that doesn't turn red when it dries. All right, so off to the next step, I'm going to dry it and then rub it with pork fat or lard. All right, first coat of lard is on it, and I put it on cold. I'm going to take it out to my barbecue, about 300 degrees, and let it sit there for about 15 minutes. If there's any smoke, I let it sit there until it stops smoking. And let it cool, maybe do it once a day for the next three days. All right, there it is done. Really happy with the results. A couple days, maybe about three and a half hours or so, but only about an hour of real elbow grease. The rest was just sitting around a fire watching it do its thing. And now we have a Dutch oven that's been restored and ready for years of reliable service. So if you see one, um, Dutch oven, cast iron skillet, whatever, and it's in bad shape, as long as it's not pitted, pick it up and uh, try this method. I think you'll be happy with it. You guys, I hope you liked watching this, and we'll see you in the next one.